Today we're going to be using a very small compact camera and a professional camera such as this one. Right, we've got the lights and we've got the camera. But before we can go any further, we need to make sure that the pictures will actually come out the correct colour. To do this, we need to set the white balance in the camera. Here are six pictures of a grey chart with different camera colour temperature settings. Only the daylight setting is correct when using the kit. So, let's have a look at the camera and see how we're actually going to set it up. If I press the menu button and then we scroll down to the white balance and go across. First of all we're coming up on auto and as we see here it's given us a reasonably good sort of colour balance that we've actually got there. I'm going to skip the preset manual uh, for a reason that will become a little bit obvious more later on. The daylight actually will give us a much more representative sort of colour. Uh, incandescent will go much more blue, fluorescent will go blue even further and then the cloudy will give us a yellowy type of colour and then the flash will also be a little bit more neutral. But for the purposes of what we're going to do today, we're actually going to set it at daylight and then that will actually be fine. So if we press the button in the centre, that's now set it and away we go. So now we can take our pictures and we can see some pictures and results as they actually come up. But for more advanced technique, there's a definite benefit to be had by using a digital SLR. I'm going to be using f2.8 which is the widest open aperture that we have on this lens. The reason for that is I want to get a very shallow depth of field on the eyes so that we can make them appear very sharp and then actually blur the rest of the information out from the back of the picture. In addition to that on the menus I'm actually using auto white balance and I'm using auto white balance on this particular camera for a very simple reason. They are very much biased towards picking up the skin tones correctly. So any other colours that are in the picture will actually fade out but the skin tones will remain correct colours. So I'm also using auto ISO. The reason I'm using that is I want the shutter speed to try and remain around the 125 of a second, a 60th of a second or thereabouts. So I'll allow the auto ISO to adjust itself to give me those types of shutter speeds. 